Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the Batman. By the way, I wish the whispers in this movie were as loud as that. If you didn't hear me, I said the Batman. 2022 movie directed by Matt Reeves. Alright, get this going. I'll just sum up real quick and then I'll get into a little bit of the bullshit if i could have found my sucks image that i put on the justice league snyder cut i probably would have put it over this i do not like this movie i am not a fan of it at all matter of fact i would like to watch it again but i'm gonna say it's a bad movie so there you go right off the bat I'm not a fan I think it's a bad movie also so i'm trying to make a distinction that it's not even just something I don't like. I've highlighted this type of thing with, you know, some other movies I've watched. And you can equate it to, like, music, right? Uh, you can appreciate the talent and the band, but you're just not into the music. And th that's not this. I think I might have mentioned that on some of the new Star Trek. Like maybe it's not for me. This movie is boredom. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to label the video for YouTube the board the board man and then like put dot 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 like i mean this movie just does not have it in the places that matter you want to get superficial you want to call it a masterpiece go ahead and by the way this is not in the league even with the joker movie that came out recently which i could understand why that movie garnered the attention it did and the praise it did I'm also not a fan of Nolan's last two movies in his trilogy. I love Batman Begins, even though I don't like Bale as a Batman or Bruce Wayne, because when it's done well, I'll, I'll, you know, I could let the things go. It's just a great movie, in my opinion. The second one, I understand why people like it, but it's at the Dark Knight, and the third one is garbage, shit, bad movie. So I'm not. Um, I'm a big fan of trying to bring this realism stuff in and then just do stupid shit all, you know, throughout the whole movie. So, yes, I do love Batman 89. I like Batman Returns. And I watched the third and fourth one, Batman Forever, Batman, it just out of the sheer fun of loving the Adam West TV show. And, you know, I'm a comic book fan. I could take. Lots of uh, iterations of Batman throughout the comics and even say, okay, this is a grittier one. This is a so-and-so. And certain writers come and go and they'll put their touch on Batman. This movie is fucking boring. It's badly directed, badly edited. But, you know what? It does end. Right? And that might seem like the old joke, you know, what was good about it or what ended. This is one of those movies. Just like the Snyder Cut. I mean, I don't know... Okay, so my impression is this is a movie that executives and said at some point in the process, we've got to change this, we've got to redo stuff. Maybe you'll hear about director influence and people, whatever. But this movie had like a year delay. I don't know what the fuck they were doing. So what might be good about this? Um... There was a good scene with Catwoman, although her character was just bullshit throughout the movie. Um, I really don't know. Uh, the impression this movie leaves on me is not a good one. Not even in a, oh, you know what, I didn't like the Joker movie, but I can give it its praise. Like, what it tried to do, it's not my... Even the Batmans, the Nolan, like, I could... This is just nonsense you can't just say things to say things you can't just do things things happen because you need them to happen without logic and structure and you know sinew like things that hold things together and the way stories are told i don't know what the fuck is going on how can dc fuck this shit up so let's go back ben Affleck is batman forget about nolan All right 
You make a horrible movie called Batman vs. Superman, but you have one of the best Batman scenes ever filmed, and it's the warehouse scene. You can't go back from that. Now, they made it more impressive and, you know, spectacular for the Justice League movies and more cartoonish. So, I guess, going back to a more real and grittier look. Well, you can't go back to the knowns because that was bad. We don't need dark, choppy shit. The last thing we need is a pitch black fucking area that keeps getting lit up by gunfire and you don't know what the fuck's going on. Now, if you use that in a smart way to have them creep up and go from strobing blinks to like getting closer and closer. No. What they want to do in one part is have his theme playing and then have his fucking heavy boots coming down a wet alleyway or something for like 12 seconds. Like, that's not... What are you trying to do? Like, Batman is walking like he's in a suit of armor, which he fucking is. Fine. And he just makes his presence known. You know what? These things might be good in a movie that made sense. Like I said, you can't just say things to say things and put them in places and think this is a well-rounded movie in all the aspects that matter. Whatever. I like Green Lantern. I could admit it's a shitty movie. One of my favorite superhero opening movie scenes ever is Wolverine Origins. The Wolverine's a little kid with saber tooth, and they do the montage into the Vietnam War. The movie is not a good movie. I could admit that. I could see the joy in some things that I like that are just corny or not really well done, but it gets me. So there are people who are going to like this movie. I'm fine with it. But this is not no fucking masterpiece. It's a ball fest from beginning to end. I don't mind a gritty, dreary Batman, but here's what you needed to do to make this movie work. One, you get Robert Pattinson in the role, you bring him in, you do your shit, whatever you do, testing and all those things. And then you go back to the script and you say, okay, look, we're going to make it that you're a heroin addict. Well, what do you mean? Well, the struggles of Bruce Wayne after he went through all the training and went around the world, he came back to Gotham and he became a heroin addict. Well, you can't do that. Well, what if it's a ruse? What if it's the thing he puts out to the public that Bale did in a different way in the Nolan movies? See, Batman and Bruce Wayne had to be dis- you can't distinct. You had to make sure there was something distinguishable. Like you had to separate them. So Bruce Wayne realized he had to be a jerk off, a womanizing asshole, going in the fountain. Right? Just can't you know? You never put Batman and him together. This performance from this guy. It's just one note. And it's fine if you want to go with a certain iteration where he was new or whatever. But this movie doesn't make sense. He opens up with a narration, which could have went well. If he doesn't, if he says he's been around for two years and he's fear, but vengeance and it just is opposite. And the logic is all fucking wrong. How is he friends with Gordon who brings him in for the first time into a police station or to a crime scene? It was fucking ridiculous. But yet, gangs don't know who he is. One guy even says, I'll make you bleed in your suit. Like, this thing's not, no one's afraid. And the blatant, like, nonsense, it just got to me. There's a scene where he walks in his Batman suit, goes to a club to see the Penguin. And by the way, what's the fucking news? The Penguin's barely in the fucking movie. You got Colin Farrell to be, you know, super magic makeup, fat suit, whatever. You know, I do a little research to go onto my Wikipedia or whatever the fuck, and you find out that even before this movie was out, they greenlit a fucking series, HBO Max, Gotham PD, and the Penguin series. It just reeks of bullshit. The type of bullshit that they scramble to take a piece of shit garbage they have, somehow fashion it and get the promotion out there and get it going. Reminds me of Star Trek when fucking Discovery started tanking, but they had to have shit look good. Thank God Lower Decks came out and then Picard, another fucking disaster in my opinion. I don't like the fucking first season. But it's one of those things where I kind of say, maybe it's not my Star Trek, but fine, people are going to like it. This just doesn't make sense to me. There's so many things wrong. 
contradictions and silliness that I, I don't, you know, want to take this movie seriously rather than going through for three hours with this movie. Same thing with the Snyder Cut. Enough. So I foresee fucking one day Marvel just buying DC out. Outright. N no way The Rock is saving anything with the fucking Black Adam um, thing he's doing. For fucking eight years he had to put together people drawing pictures and putting out stuff they meet up in their house and on their computers to try to get that going. And finally it's going. But it's not a Black Adam movie with Shazam. No, it'll be... You know, just a society type movie. DC, you shit the bed with Wonder Woman 1984, because although it's fun, it's not a good movie. So, Wonder Woman, I love the first one. I sort of have fun with the Justice League. Um, you know, the, the cut with Josh Whedon. I don't... So, you know, I don't really emphasize and pound on a point that it's movies... I hate this movie, I hate this movie, and there are not actual points to point out, but it's just a subjective feeling, and I get that, and sometimes that does happen. You know, I talk about being in the mood, right frame of mind, what you're doing. No, this is bullshit. I never watched Twilight, so I don't know that actor too well, but on recent stuff, he's been amazing, right? So he has range or whatever, I'm fine, I had no Preppers, you know, all that Twilight, I didn't care. I, I don't care about, you know, what it, what baggage he brought from, or even if it is baggage, you know, for them it's clout. I didn't care what shows he was on or whatever. I wasn't too impressed with the um, trailers until I saw one where they were shooting him, which I'd seen in the dark, and they were shooting him in the fucking thing, and I'm like, oh, wait. And I had to talk with a friend for a good 15 minutes about what they were doing with his armor. And I'm like, okay, so it's armor, it's not really the bat suit, but let's go back and forth and say, okay, at least the Nolan Batman begins, you know, you saw him come back and da 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 he gets the um high tech guy, Lucius Fox, and you see the progression of his suit and stuff. Alright. This has all the flavorings of an origin Batman, but he says he's been around for two years, but no one knows who he is, except for the fucking one lieutenant police department guy, and most of the police don't like him. And yet he's spreading fear, with him, but every, he meets the first gang, and it has no impact on his presence. It's just, you know, who the fuck are you? You're going to get fucked up? He opens, he goes, knocks on the fucking club, and he goes in, and he's walking around as Batman. He's in the... Oh, uh, just so much bullshit. So, getting back to the scene with the gun, I'm like, okay, so, hmm, are they going to explain that it's bulletproof? And, okay, let's talk about Black Panther, right? And not only is he bulletproof in this, one of the later movies, um, he can absorb the kinetic energy. So, I was thinking maybe, you know, he is Bruce Wayne, you can consider him an Iron Man, a Tony Stark, whatever. So he's got the suit. He can't store energy, but it'll it'll help the impact. And so, all right, fine. I'm, I'm with it. I don't need it even explained. But you have to keep it consistent, right? Or it doesn't work. So I say to you, oh, but he gets shot point blank range with a shotgun, and he's nearly taken out of the battle. Well, Joe, a shotgun at point blank range has more mass and impact. Yeah, okay, I get it, right? But a fucking... Bomb can go off eight inches from him. He gets blown back, knocked unconscious. By the way, wakes up in the police station. No one takes his mask off. You know, just the stupid shit. Punching cops, whatever the fuck's going on. And you can't have this consistency. So if a fucking huge explosive can go off in his face. And by the way, it's through the movie. Right? Poor fucking guy they make play Alfred, you know, who does the voice of, he does a character acting and, um, Jesus, Andy Serkis. He's Alfred. Who gives a fuck? Like, it just doesn't resonate. Nothing resonates. I keep waiting for him to do an Aussie accent as the guy from fucking Ultron who gets his arm cut off. Ulysses Claw. Like, it's not even bad performances. It seems like meandering dialogue and stuff that is supposed to be fitting for a certain style but just falls flat on every fucking K. 
count. Because even though you like a little bit of the uh, music, or his theme, not used well in, throughout the movie. And sorry, Nirvana's something in the way is not saving it either. No matter how fucking much you got to go into it, just doesn't work. And let's talk about the whispering. Why is everybody talking like the whispers? And then Commissioner Gordon, you get this fucking guy who I love from Westworld. Um, Jeffrey Wright. What a useless, just, why? Why even bother? He's got to talk like this, and it's got to be slow. And every fucking dialogue throughout the whole movie is whispers. And the people who don't whisper, you don't know what the fuck's going on. There's one point where Gordon has to yell something because he's got policemen around him. And then in a heartbeat, in a blink of an eyelash, he's back to this, and we got to talk about it. And then Batman. I mean, holy shit. It's like, whisper me this, Batman. That was the whole fucking movie because I haven't even gotten to the Riddler, who probably was okay. But don't pull the bullshit of the bullshit on me. Oh, it's the Riddler. Spoiler alert. Whatever the fuck. I might get into a little things because I don't want this to go on for too long because it's not a movie I like and. It'll just be me shitting on the movie. Because I really don't have a lot of redeeming factors in this. Nothing. He's too skinny, Batman. He looks like a fucking heroin addict when he's Bruce Wayne. Fine, you want to call him a recluse and just you know, make it work in a cohesive way. Not just boring mess of a movie. And things are put in there just to be there. Just to be there. I don't need beautiful fucking angle cuttings for no reason that don't serve a purpose. You know, a person this, this happens. Because it has to happen. And it just doesn't make sense when seven seconds later your brain is trying to figure out why the fuck is this going on? You know, who's this girl? Who's this friend of the girl and the girl and the guy? And they got to meet the guy. He's a, and he's a penguin. Always the penguin. And it just doesn't feel right. Now, I know some of the uh, inspiration he took from, from reading stuff and getting the idea, because I didn't do reviews yet, like go looking at what people think yet, but you, know, you look at the wiki and you might follow a thing here and there. I mean, <clears throat> you've got some phenomenal comic book work. And if you don't want to use it line for line, you draw inspiration from a theme or something, I'm fine with it. The long Halloween year one, whatever, but you can't have all of it together. His suit looked dumb. I don't like the collar look. It makes his head look like it's on an angle and it doesn't look right. You can't really tell what the fuck's going on on his suit and the fights are bad. Just bad and you want to keep the gun thing fine, but you don't keep consistency with, you know, sorry, it just doesn't work. And this goes for plot and storyline, introducing Catwoman to her little subplot, and then the plot of the plot that's not really a plot, and the Riddler, who's not really a Riddler, or he's, is he one of the Riddlers? Because we don't fucking know. You've got a twisty twist that's supposed to be shocking, but it just bores your fucking brain out because everything had to happen, and it didn't matter. So, end this now, because this is going to be spoiler shit. I might blur shit out, because I don't give a fuck. This is a bad movie, through and through, in my opinion. So, Batman starts off, he does his narration, which almost got me into the movie, but then it became a little too weird, and I'm trying to figure out, you know, the theme of this, and ooh, it's got some gripping thriller stuff. So, you almost got me with the Riddler's introduction and what he's doing. He's killing the mayor, and then da 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 the DA, blah, blah. and there's a mystery to solve. And feels a little familiar with the second Nolan movie, but whatever. You know, like I said, take inspiration where you got it, where you can, and if it feeds the fans and it gives a good story, I'm all for it. Like I said, I'm willing to admit. How much I like Green Lantern, but it's a fucking bad movie. And this has all the markings of it, from pacing to editing, you know, the music. It, 
you'll find pieces here and there. And I wouldn't even say pieces of greatness because it's just bad. Right from the beginning, his narration, he goes into stuff. You see the Riddler, blah, 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 blah. And then he deals with a, a street gang. Now, one of the street gang is nervous. It has nothing to do with Batman yet. Because he knows it's like an initiation. So he's got to beat some guy up or whatever. When the bat signal is seen, the kid's nervous still. But that's it. None of the other thugs. Batman does his, they got the fucking, uh, the fucking theme of him. And then, like I said, 10 to 12 seconds of you hearing his footsteps. Sorry. Why go through the trouble doing Ben Affleck? You put him in a fucking corner in a shadow, not seen, not heard, gone in a second. Like, why bother? Because all those Batman, you know, you want to say they're around. This one Batman's been around for two years. I just, I just don't get it. So for two years, he's been Avengers. But none of the gang give a fuck. They, they just don't give a fuck. So right there, I'm like, wait, two years you've been fear. And like someone describes him later in the movie as like intense violence and whatever. And I, the theme of the movie at the end is he has to do more. For two years. But this doesn't matter to anybody. Like this, he even seems like he's not even recognized. Fine. Do some kick-ass stuff. Again, not great fighting, choreography. It just doesn't work for me. You want to do the gunshots, you can take shots and get him hit. I'm fine with all that. But as a whole, it has to work. It has to feel like it flows right. And I'm in the... You know, I'm feeling the blow. It just doesn't work for me. Fine. When you get into the next section of the movie, Gordon's his friend and confidant, and the cops are surprised that he's at the, the crime scene. And Batman's just walking around in a bat suit. This is not Adam West Batman where, or even... The fucking Batman Forever where they joked around it was corny and campy. This is supposed to be realistic. Now, they did this with the Nolan movies that pissed me off. Don't, t don't show me real and try to base it like a real life and then do the stupidest shit that would never happen. Like the laws of physics are not, it's not possible. That you do in the corny, campy stuff. And this movie just, it bleeds that everywhere. W Gordon and him, okay. It doesn't feel right. Cops are like, oh, this freak, whatever. And this movie's supposed to be the masterpiece, right? And the hints were it was going to be more detective-like and stuff. And those elements are there. They're not done good. You've got, you know, unbelievable technology with technology you can't even see or understand. Or it's not even available. Like for gadgets and stuff. And I understand going from the beginning and rebooting it. And, you know, maybe... Or whatever. Tech guys come in in the future. Or you see them working on stuff. Whatever. Not a big deal. Because if you make a good movie for me. I'll, I'll entertain the vision you had. And give it its due. This doesn't work. The whole first section of the movie is a drawn out. Fucking bog. And every time Bruce Wayne shows up. Because he's barely in the movie. It just looks like he, there's no. Presence to him. Meeting, even when he's out in interactions and it just doesn't work and his detective thing and they had so many opportunities to use special things but they had to work when they had to work because you have to do it that way so instead of him having the Arkham Asylum ga video game detective things built into his cowl or something he has these contact lenses that can film and record shit right whoa Right now, the reason why it isn't built in his cow and stuff is because he has to give it to Catwoman later, so he can watch her and hear her and I, I, just blatant bullshit. Because the Riddler gets fucking captured by the end of the movie. Everything he planned goes works. Thousands, tens of thousands are probably dead, right? But the movie's not over. What are we gonna do? Oh. I get it. He's going to set Arkham free because that's what he put him. That's where he wanted to be. No. No, no, not at all. He has a fucking bunch of groupies. 
ooh, the, the, the Fight Club twist, like, oh, well, so, just to have them in the movie, so Batman could have an ending to his movie, but it's a fucking action scene. So you want realistic, it's got to make sense, you can't do things, have them this to have them. It, obvious bullshit that goes on through the movie. Him walking through the club, doing a little bit of fighting, but it just doesn't feel right. It feels awkward and just lacking of any depth. It just, I don't understand. Superb actors, right? And actresses. And even Catwoman. It didn't bother me. But it didn't feel like it worked. There are so many instances where I would say, oh, you know what? That would be a great Wonder Woman. But I admit, Gail Gadot is great in the role and it just works and that i i think chris evans is a better human torch than he is a captain america but he won me over as captain america because i wasn't too fond of him in the role so she could be an amazing catwoman but they don't give her enough to do here commissioner gordon the fucking guys half horse whisper shit that it just and it doesn't make sense and the fucking batmobile it's just Bullshit. Done just for bullshitness. It just doesn't make fucking sense when you look back and you try to connect these, you know, um, whatever, pathways in the movie. It just doesn't feel right. It doesn't carry me. I just want the movie to fucking end and it never ended. And this isn't like, um, it was a movie I really like, uh, The Bone Collector, Denzel Washington, and... Oh man, the um, she's in the Eternals. Fuck a famous girl, girl, whatever. Hackers, you know, super famous helps often. Some of Brad Pitt's wife. Anyway, um, now nah, I forgot because I'm trying to think of, you know, there's a presence and a way that the Bone Collector works, and Denzel Washington performs in a on a on a stretcher the whole movie on a bed. Because he had something happen to him and he's paralyzed. I'm not sure from the neck down, the waist down. But he's always the whole movie. And um, the cop, uh, the famous chick, I can't remember her name, is a beat cop who gets elevated because he sees she has a special gift for finding clues. And the movie builds with this method of um, him instructing her. And there's a great presence in the movie the story flows and then there's a little bit of a twist and that builds up uh seven with brad pitt and um morgan freeman you know i'm not you know, gonna say it's the same but you know this movie wants to be a real deep psychological thriller with detective skills being used man this movie batman has no presence in the movie that matters it's, it's unbelievable i just don't understand there's so many parts of this movie that really make you scratch your head. It just doesn't work. And and this is like, what, great reviews and stuff and people you trust? I don't know. Because I see little things and then I turn away. The only things I looked at, like I said, is when I did my wiki things and I'm getting ready to do this. I'll hit some links and, you know, blah, 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 Matt Reeves. Like, so what did he do? You know, I don't know. This director did... Um, Cloverfield. I like Cloverfield. And he directed it. Let me in. I think I like that. Now, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, War for the Planet of the Apes, I thought they degraded. I thought the first one was okay. It was a good movie. I didn't like Dawn and I didn't like War. So, being on a show with J.J. Abrams doing Felicity, fine. I don't know why this guy, why, why this was let. I guess you know what? I think I know why. And it's because of the Joker. They thought they can get away with this because of the way the Joker played out, the the callbacks it took to certain movies, the taxi driver, like, like the element of the environment they created for him. So, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, so maybe the one good element to this is Gotham. Yeah, so, one good scene with Catwoman and then... Um, I think I liked Gotham. Like They gave it a little bit of... um. You know, a little more of a feel of a comic book place, gothic and stuff. I mean, really, I could probably just, you know, if I wanted to, 
shit on this movie for a good fucking hour. You know what? Maybe two. I mean, <sighs> there's a scene in this fucking movie, okay, where it's at the end of the movie. The Riddler's won. He's in Arkham, but he's won, although he doesn't know he's won because he pouts and he, for no fucking reason, yeah, he's won. He, you know, whatever. His plan was at the end, he floods the city and obviously thousands are dead. And he knows that the only place that the ones who can run are going to run to this um, stadium, whatever. Fine, so that's the staging ground for the last thing. But instead of blowing these fucking people up, like he blew up all the fucking dams or whatever that holds the water back from Gotham being flooded, fine. He sends his fucking groupies out to pick them off with, with bullets and a gun and, and huge rifles they have and stuff. No, why? Because so fucking Batman could show up and the movie could fucking have an ending scene. It's so stupid. They show the fucking scenes with the water coming in. You're dead. You're all dead. Same thing with the Superman movie. You want to crash through building stuff and ignore it? Fine, but you have to have the right temp the temperament. You have the right um, feeling and theme to the movie. This is like ridiculous. And people are fucking killed and mangled on the highway. Yeah, guy fucking penguin flips over like nine times. He's okay. Oh, I'm okay. And and then he's not. No one's in jail, and and you don't know what the fuck's going on. And it's because at the end of the movie, he has to be there for some stupid fucking scene. And you just know that all these things add up to people just putting things in certain places just to have them there. And it creates a boring fucking trog of a movie from beginning to end for me. How long, how fucking many times am I just like rolling my eyes? And I wanted this because I... Like I said, I might have saw one trailer, I wasn't too impressed, but then when I saw the other one, it, it garnered conversation with my friend, and I was starting to feel good. Like, you know what? I don't know this Robert Pattinson from the shit that they say a wooden actor from, like, Twilight. You know, he's got some newer stuff that he's been pretty good in. So, you know, give it a shot. Like, I don't know who this Catwoman is, but she's gorgeous. And like I said, she had one good scene. I actually felt immersed in the movie. And the Riddler, who the fuck knows who was really the Riddler in the Riddler mask? And because it's like Riddler, right? You know, a, anyway, there's a nerd thing to that. Um, but yeah, because it's the Riddler they got, but there's other groupies and they, whatever. All right, so this is at the end, they're all in the stadium, and as Batman takes out the fucking guys, the groupies, um. Oh, yeah, one hits him with a shotgun, point black range, and he's like, oh, he can't get up, and he's all, all fucked up. Catwoman has to save him. Catwoman is going to get killed, and he injects himself with um, go-go juice. Oh, he gets up, and he's like almost ready to pound the guy. Fine. Uh, so he, Batman, in this moment, it's such a magic moment in the movie. It's supposed to be a magic fucking moment, right? So Batman looks up, looks around. This is the scene, ready? You're in this fucking stadium, half the walls crushed, water's at the bottom, it's, has, it's up to a certain level. There's no indication it's getting worse, but whatever. He sees, he looks around, he sees these junctions where electricity is sparking and starting little fires. Oh shit, Batman's going to be a hero, right? I get it. I'm with you. I'm a little bit interested. So, me, being a GM, DM, Game Master, Dungeon Master, I've written Batman in my stories. Alright, this is what's going to happen. Batman's going to use a, either a good device, or he's going to sacrifice and hurt himself to make sure these people don't get electrocuted. There we go. Ready? Boom. Gets a grappling hook, he jumps off the side, and there's a moment. I don't know if it's before or after, because I fucking rolled my eyes so hard, I saw my synapses dying and exploding. He leaps off, he does the grappling hook, onto a cable dangling from the roof, rafters, whatever. 
everybody, Commissioner Gordon, Catwoman, you know, who they should have put all the fucking groupies also, because it was like, <gasps> they all come out and look over the edge, because Batman's dangling, and he takes the emblem off his chest, and this is it. He cuts the cable and falls into the water. Takes out a flare, goes to the people huddled, and then leads them out, and he's a fucking hero. I don't know what the fuck is going on here. Batman seeing these electrical junks, like, and he looks down at the water, he sees the people huddled, huddled, you know, under these, like, half broken rafters and whatever, you know. So he springs into action using the grappling hook to propel him to grab a cable that's dangling from the ceiling or rafters or whatever junction boxes or light fixture, whatever the fuck's going on. He pulls the emblem off his chest, and this moment is like almost slow motion, and everybody's looking over the side of this fucking stadium thing, because Batman is doing his thing. He cuts the cable, falls into the water gracefully. Gets up, because the water's about up to his waist or chest, he walks over to the people, and then they're, oh, no, no, there's Batman, no, there's a Batman, take my hand, let me light a flare and lead you out. I'm fucking real. On real, like you, you can't almost believe it until you watch it because I might be even making it sound really good. It was fucking dumb, and I don't know why the fuck they did it. Was it for the fucking angle shot you got of Batman cutting the cable with his bat symbol chesting? Oh shit! Was it to you know splash in the water, or was it to get up? Light a flare and guide the people to the door, the exit, when it looked like they could have done it already. Like, they could have did it, but I thought the electricity was the problem. Obviously, it's not, because who gives a fuck, right? Holy shit. There's a scene where, before he gets to the stadium, the thugs are out there, they're blasting people. They shoot the fucking mayor, the Gordon saves her. Whatever, um, I guess she's bleeding, who knows, I guess she lives, right? And seven, eight, twelve of them, whatever, Batman comes in from, the roof explodes, the roof, the glass, dome thing, whatever, shatters, he comes in, great entrance, da, 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 whatever. What you should have done is, what they did in, I can't believe I'm going to say this, Batman vs. Superman. Batman's going to save Lois, right, or Martha. He gets to this fucking place they're holding her, and he climbs to the front of the bat plane, which Alfred is driving. So you see them come up, blow up some tanks or whatever, get up to this establishment, this building, and then as Batman climbs to the front of the fucking thing and uh, Alfred's got to pivot the plane, the camera angle changes and you see the fucking window light up with the symbol of the bat. But it's Batman who had just leapt off the fucking bat plane. He crashes through the fucking window. Comes into the warehouse and it's one of the best scenes ever filmed by Batman on live action. This movie didn't give a fuck. They didn't show you him coming off a plane or using a grappling hook. And then throwing these like marbles that spread out on the roof and explode. No, while these people are picking people off, Batman, like, it just doesn't make sense. Like, what is he doing? Is he planting bombs? Is he um, just threw a device that shattered everything? But it doesn't look like because it looks like little explosions went off. All for nonsense fights that don't fucking I don't know. Like I said, saving grace in this is maybe um you know there's some life in Gotham for some reason. Like other scenes sort of felt right. Maybe, but they just feel like they're just, you know, certain people who are good at their job in a movie. I mean, they know how to light things and film things. But as a cohesive whole, I don't care. I'm so bored. I'm so, like, wondering what this fucking actor is doing here. Like, it doesn't feel right unless you go, this is a Batman who just got out of a fucking insane asylum or is a heroin addict or, you know... PTSD, fine. But you're par- you're parading this movie around as some masterpiece, or you know, critics are who are on the show, whatever. 
But I don't know if I could generally believe someone is just going to critically acclaim this movie, go point from point, without someone easily being able to counterpoint almost everything on why things don't make sense and how this can't, it doesn't work logically. Is this the origin of the penguin? Is he a mob boss? And then he's got the name already and, you know, Colin Farrell. Oh, no, but he's fucking producing the show that's coming out. And if I think the fucking cop procedural show is canceled already, you tried to salvage this. You had an extra year. It's like the Snyder thing. He had fucking time to what? Make a fucking extended, long, slow-mo fucking... You know, ego fest. It was just garbage. It's the same thing I feel here. <clears throat> I don't know. Is there passion and love for your project? Sure, maybe. You know, there are independent movies that you can go. Okay, if this had a better, you know, ancillary cast and things didn't work. You know, I'll I'll give things the benefit of the doubt when it works and you know things come together. But from beginning to end, in the middle section of this movie, who fucking cares? To the car chase, stupid Batmobile thing that is fucking stupid. To his detective work where he looks around, but there's no real things going on. Oh, solves riddles. <coughs> he solves riddles, and he interacts with the riddles with people, maybe. So, yeah, okay, he solves some riddles. That's, that's fine. Maybe that's another good point. Man, that I fucking not like this experience. This movie is just too much for me. It just two, two, three hours of fucking boredom. And it's a Batman movie. I'm not that hard to please. Like I said, I was, that third Batman Nolan movie with Bane is fucking garbage. But I can actually even understand why people just like it and it's a romp for them. Like, I think Green Lantern or the Wolverine Origins, like how fucking ridiculously bad it is, but, you know, you get into it and you have fun. You love the character. You let things slide. Um, Star Wars, The Phantom Menace. You know, I went to the movies with lightsabers and we were fucking battling. It was the greatest experience, you know, but you, know, you have to look at it and sh show where the fucking, some of the parts that should have been, someone should have fucking reined in George Lucas or whatever. This reeks to me of the ramifications of the success of the Joker. You wanted a little bit of the Batman, some of the serious comic book stuff. You want the detective, the noir, grittiness. You got it. But it's a fucking mess. It's a boring mess. So, you can, this is your new trilogy you're starting? It's fucking mind-boggling. And just like Star Trek did with, oh, Discovery Season 3, 4 is doing so well... Oh, look, um, Picard or whatever. No, Strange New Worlds is coming out. Prodigy. Uh, Lower Decks is what's really fucking hitting big. You don't show your numbers. This is all just hype nonsense. And it just fucking pissed me off that this is what DC does. Because it's now becoming a trend. Call me a Marvel fanboy or whatever, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll at least argue some of the decency. And even if it's... Uh, formulas they use. Do it well, right? <laughs> you don't have to come away from the Ant Man movie saying it's my favorite superhero. But you can see it's a well made movie and has its parts, and you get the feels here and there. All this is going to do is just a couple of fucking notes from his scene that's pretty good, but it's too fucking seldomly used or overused. Like, it just doesn't feel right in a Nirvana fucking song. You know, give him inspiration. Matt Reeves' is fucking inspiration for Bruce Wayne was fucking Kurt Cobain. And the Riddler was the Zodiac Killer. I mean, are you fucking for real? This is just, just fucking, I don't know. DC, what are you, what are you waiting for? It's well past the time for any cohesive building of a Marvel Cinematic Universe, right? <clears throat> you tried, you failed. Badly. What are you doing now? Separate little universe is fine. But you know what you did with the TV shows? I could feel it happening with your movies. They're spinning out of control into irrelevancy. 
My examples would be, look at Flash, Arrow, Supergirl. <clears throat> All fun shows that took lots of risks. Some fun, good stuff in there. But it's bogged down by bullshit. And formulas that don't work with stupid fucking things that don't work to start looking cheaper and cheaper as it goes along. Muddled storylines that fucking fans have to complain about. Two good seasons of Arrow maybe out of seven. How many crossovers were there that I had to fucking bog through the season of this, the season of that just to get through it? You know what? 22 episodes a season, right? Fucking one or two good episodes. This is fucking DC. They've got a show called Lois and Clark Superman right now. I don't give a fuck. I don't even know what it is. I love the first season of Titans, but I don't know. I, I haven't gotten around to watching that or the Doomsday. Like, what do you. What is coming from all this? What, you'll still be the king of animated movies and stuff like that? Fine. I'll, I'll give you that. But this is Batman. You got Robert Pattinson doing a fucking horrible job as Bruce Wayne. And Batman. I don't get it. Give me a reason. Give me something that fits right. Get the people together around you and say, look, I like him for this role, but we have to adjust the storyline for this performance. Like, where do we take this? Okay, well, you know what? Let's say, let's put some news things out to cover up that he's Batman, that he was in a uh, rehab for heroin. I don't know if the fucking actor's gonna get fucking upset, but I'm sorry, this is what you look like. I can't even remember the scene from the trailer where it looks like he's in shape. What did they do? They filmed that like one day before the movie fucking started? Because I can't see that throughout the whole movie. I don't get it. It doesn't look right. I can't remember feeling intimidated or threatened by him and... You know, give me George fucking Clooney. He's got a brick jaw, a square fucking head look. He looks like a fucking animated Batman. No matter how bad those movies were. I, you know, I can understand things not working visually. Like, oh, she doesn't look like she's not the right height. Catwoman's taller. Black, white, I don't give a fuck. Make it work. Make it good. Give him good shit to chew through. Real suspenseful stuff. Not manufactured bullshit. Because that's what this movie is. And this is not, this is even me going point for point, like getting a paper, because I don't have enough interaction to get through this. Like, I like doing these things that therapy to me, and it gives me a chance to turn the mic on and just talk and get my thoughts out. And then it'll be a big log of, you know, things I like. And then I like, you know, go point for point. I would have, this, this could be hours. I wish I can get my hands on, maybe it hasn't happened yet, but there's certain people I know I want to see their takes on this. Because I can tell you right now who's going to be the shills and who's not. It's that evident these days. And that's not really a good thing either. And I think that's where this is all leading. A popular Joker movie. You know, we can do this dark, gritty thing. We can have it realistic. But don't make it make sense. It doesn't matter. It's Batman. No, I need to know reasons. I need to know the foundation of stuff. He's been around for two years, and why do these gangs not give a shit, not even recognize him? Bat signal comes up, and no one gives a fuck. He goes to a bar, and the guy's like, get the fuck out of here. Close the door. I, 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 you know, come back in, oh, punch, kick, punch. Well, I'm, I'm Batman. I'm walking through a club. I gotta go see the fucking penguin, and... You know, what stuff is there to really chew through? I don't even know if Batman's important to this movie. Neither is Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne goes to see Falcone. Ooh, we find out about Bruce Wayne's parents weren't goody two-shoes and the father made a mistake. One that might have cost somebody their life. Oh, but you can feel that bond with Alfred, who should be fucking in pieces. Okay? The Riddler is killing all these people. They're all connected. You is a mystery to connect the puzzle. And Bruce Wayne is one of the victims, one of the last victims. He gets mailed a bomb. C4. But Alfred grabs it, opens it. And as Batman's piecing it together, he's calling him on the phone. Ah, oh, my Alfred, my Alfred. 
and a maid answers. Who's a maid? Yeah, guess why there's a maid in this movie? There's a maid helper, somebody to fucking Wayne and whatever. No, you don't know what the fuck going on. But she's there because Alfred is going to get blown into particles by a bomb and she'll take over the role. Maybe her name is Alfreda, right? Now there's a fucking little twist. No, no, no. Because Alfred tosses the bomb away, which they try to do this fucking sneaky bullshit suspense thing where he sees the bomb, they cut back to Batman, uh, and the maid answers the phone. And like, listen, something bad's gonna happen. We gotta get out. And she's like, no, it happened already. I've been trying to call you for an hour. And they show a shot of a fucking Wayne building a manor. And a, look at how a fucking plane hit it. <laughs> okay? It looked like a fucking plane. There's smoke, fucking rubble, big, huge gaping holes. They cut back to the scene where Alfred turns the thing over. He sees the lights blinking. His eyes go up. They cut back and, oh my God, it was Alfred. It's too late. He's too late. No, he's in the hospital. He's okay. It looks like he had a stroke, maybe, or a heart attack. Because the bomb goes up 10 feet away from him in a fucking blast, which blows his fucking wall out, smoke, rubble. But he's okay because explosions don't fucking work. There's no physics to it. Which is how Batman is able to have a bomb go off right in front of his face, six inches away, eight, whatever the fuck it was, because he's standing right next to the guy who has like a neck bomb, right? Because he's in fucking jigsaw type thing. You know, so Alfred's supposed to be fucking dead, but they're going to have a fucking scene where Alfred opens his eyes and Bruce finds he lied to me. Okay, so this is why certain things will fucking annoy me in a movie and you gotta do the shit right to get me hooked and I'm gonna mention two decent movies that are fucking ridiculous so Man of Steel that movie sucks except for the last fucking 40 minutes when he's in his suit cause it's a cartoon Superman who's busting through buildings fuck everybody who's dead I didn't give a fuck kill Zod snap his fucking neck yeah fucking Superman fine awesome but there's a scene in that movie where he lets his father die Right? He lets his fucking father die in a tornado. It's the stupidest shit ever. But right before that, he goes, is a scene or whatever, he goes, You're not my dad. Like, don't tell me what to do. You're not my real dad. Okay. This is a Spider Man thing. Okay? With Uncle Ben. It's not a trope that you need to put in every fucking movie, DC. Okay? Because it was fucked up when Superman did it in the fucking truck, talking to fucking shitty fucking Papa Kent, whatever the fuck, who fucking dies in a tornado to save the dog, and Superman doesn't do fucking nothing. It's so fucking stupid. Yes, in this movie, Alfred, Batman says to Alfred, you're not my father. And I wanted to fucking punch him right in the throat. I just wanted to fucking I was like you guys stop this this don't fucking do it and you fucking did it right off the bat it's really early in the movie I think and I couldn't believe they went there you're not my father like you're not my father like don't tell me what to do it was so fucking stupid because you don't do that that's not Batman it's not young Superman no, these things are there so you can fucking call back to something later. Right? So he can hold his hand at the fucking bed. Who gives a fuck? What does Batman do for two years? Fucking beating people up? And then solving cases with them? So Gordon's his buddy? And you're not my dad. There's so much going on in this movie and it's three hours long of boredom shit and he wanted a really interesting storyline like I mentioned the Bone Collector if you want to go, you know, usual, usual Suspects or some clever thing that, you know, is like an aha moment that makes it all make sense and it's gone. It just doesn't fit. It is not there. It's not there. Batman doesn't fucking do anything effective in the movie. The Riddler gets his fucking due. The fucking oceans come in or whatever the fuck. 
people are this massive water just swiping through people and in the middle of the city the people are running because they got a chance and they run to the <clears throat> so it ends with batman in a fucking narration again and it's just bullshit him catwoman what the fuck we, we love no you're already taken but okay fine the city's underwater this you know this shit's gonna keep getting worse oh let's get our fucking spin-off shows going Let's pump all the hype and money into them, sell whatever we can sell, and then make sure everything's looking good. Get all your fucking reviews, get everybody you can, pray that The Rock saves this somehow, because there's still hope for that. Because there's no one you can imagine, or maybe one or two people you can maybe imagine more fitting as Black Adam. But The Rock is so lovable, he isn't even good in bad movies, he's fun, you know, makes fun of me. like you can see it working i hope so because this is fucking bullshit and now i gotta try to well i'm gonna desperately watch season two of the titans and hope that this it holds up and i bet it will you know this talented people work on things but holy shit i just don't care this is a fucking hour of me ranting about batman the the board man this is boring as fuck i don't know i guess i'll end it here and saying that from beginning to end, I find little value in this movie, little that redeems, that makes me feel like I'm watching a Batman movie, let alone a good movie or a fun movie to get through. Because when you do a movie that's dreary and dark and blah, 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 and there's no Christian Bale to play the brooding Batman, but to know he's got to be a goofy, womanizing, fucking, you know, idiot, it just doesn't make sense narrate that you're there for two years your vengeance your fear but no one gives a fuck except for one cop gordon we don't fucking know why but everybody's pissed and like this is the first time it's happening you're bringing him into a fucking crime scene all right i'm getting back into it all right the batman not recommended not worth it in my opinion a bore fest from beginning to end with little redeeming qualities that i can't even fucking remember so, congratulations, DC, Matt Reeves. Who else can we blame for this fucking shit? Uh, Alright, so, The Blame. Directed by Matt Reeves. Written by Matt Reeves, Peter Craig. Alright, so, he got fucking writ writing in, right? Oh, boy. Based on characters from DC. Produced by Dylan Clark, Matt Reeves. Actors we don't really want to get into, but I'll say it was a mistake trying to put John T T Torino into a serious mobster role. Like, whoever fucking is ever going to believe that? I don't care how good of an actor he is. We know what he's known for. Go watch the fucking eight Transformers movies and other roles he does, which he tries to put into this little tiny bit to show some fucking uh, life in his fucking movies. Cold, dark. A zombie of a movie moving around and he might have some fucking color you know but it doesn't work it doesn't work when he's dealing with fucking Catwoman. it doesn't work on any level uh, you know what penguin had a good uh appearance okay fine holy shit the fucking batman oh man what a fucking slog holy shit i'm still here i'm still fucking talking about this and 10 more things will come popping in my head about how fucking bad it was and these things are compounded by more shit right so the more you try to put in this movie about bruce wayne's family or what motivates catwoman because they don't make fucking sense right i mean the bat signal batman shows up commissioner gordon Oh, you said, oh, I thought it was you. It was, you know, it's fucking Catwoman on the thing on top of the police station with a guy with a gun. Why? Because you wanted Batman to watch you kill him? You want to, or Maybe you wanted Batman's permission? Hey, like, yeah, whatever, fine. You know, I'm fucking still doing this. Wow. All right, the Batman sucks. Uh, Riddler, possibly good, good actor. Don't really know. Can't really feel it in this. Uh, you know, don't know. 
Colin Farrell, awesome penguin. And you fucking for nine minutes with seven scenes. I don't know. Just who cares? Uh, the bodyguards, the fucking bouncers at the club. All right. Well, I don't know. What am I going to do? This isn't John Wick elevated fight scenes that even the fucking. It's really John Wick 1 is good. The other two are fucking promos for a fucking other movie. Same. I got that feeling here. But at least there it's classy done. It's done well. I grant people fucking love them. Expendables. Watch the fucking movies. Have fun watching all the 80s guys come back. I get it. What the fuck they doing here? These are the characters I love. I could say my favorite character of all comic book is Nightwing Dick Grayson. Crazy enough, followed by Quasar, Wendell Vaughn from fucking Marvel, Green Lantern impersonator, uh, ripoff, or, you know, and then it goes down, and I love Batman, Superman, and, you know, X-Men, and some stuff, but, you know, Wolverine, this is Batman, who doesn't want to wear a Batman logo on a shirt, like, this is your deal, DC, this is your shit. You can't give the false bullshit. I'm not. No one's fooled anymore. How many fucking popular things am I gonna? Because I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna look at the people who like the movie. You know, try to validate their points, and you know, check out the naysayers and the people like me think it sucks. And I'm gonna try to find a middle ground. And like I said, I didn't get interaction like to do. You know, someone to you know go through with me, but this is a fucking really a shocking thing to me is you're hearing all this shit about the movie i thought it would at least be good just not my batman you know one of those yeah you know what you know i can see why people love this movie no this is not that this is a fucking boredom fest all right everybody the batman you know see it at your own risk you might be bored to death hope everybody's doing well i'll talk to you all next time take care